amazing, beautiful people, and welcome back to another Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood reaction video. Ah, everything's kicking off. Everything is kicking off. Everything's getting crazy. Everything's getting intense. Every everyone's like come into this one place, have this fight at the moment. I thought we were like building up to the big fight. It feels like we're getting like a big fight warm up now. Everything's getting crazy. I'm gonna keep it central, nice and short. I am slowly, slowly, slowly just absolutely falling in love with this ending of this anime, man. And we're not even near the end. We still got a lot to go. I'm gonna stop talking. Let's jump straight into. Make sure you subscribe, by the way. Let's jump straight into my first time of reaction. The Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, episode 49. Can you hear me? Come on. Wake up. Alphonse! I know that smell. Tell me something, Edward. Do you think your father would step forward to save you if I chopped off one of your limbs? Wait, who was that that yelled? Was that Ling or Price? A Ling or... Look out! That was Greed. Greed, man. Greed. Greed, greed is fiercely kind of loyal in a weird way, isn't it? <laughs> Also, Pride is just so OP. <laughs> Pride is like crazy strong. Like, damn, if you're gonna get any powers, you want his one. Like, Jesus Christ, his abilities are insane. Young Lord! Not quite. The name's Greed. It's you. Give the prince his body back. Now, why would I want to do something like that? Oh boy. Heads up! <laughs> didn't ask for your help. Oh, shut up. Your arm obviously hasn't healed yet. I can take care of myself. And then prove it to me and start acting like you can. We're gonna need your help tomorrow. Ed's growing up so quickly, isn't he? Not just like in terms of looks and height and everything because the connection between Al and, and his body and like his soul uh, is getting like weaker. So Ed's growing up a bit quicker, not just physically, right? But mentally. We are seeing a massive development in him mentally. <laughs> Get him out of here! Sorry I couldn't kill the little bastard. <laughs> Don't sweat it. Can't exactly fault you for that one. Even I consider him to be a monster. Yep. It's like we were Al, I'm guessing. Wake up! Alphonse! What? Dad? So, uh, wait, I thought you were in... Is this Kanema? That it is. But I was in the East, so how did I... Oh, that's right, Pride! Dad, the homunculus Pride, he took control of my body! I know, Mr. Gori has told me all about it. It's Darius. It was... it was like he was manipulating my soul. I feel violated. The homunculi are basically your relatives. They're like second-generation clones of me. So they might be able to interfere with your seal since we share the same blood. Old man Fu? Can you clean and dress this man's wounds? How's everything going over there? I'm guessing you must be Edward's father. That's correct. Hmm. That shadow monster devoured the fat homunculus whole, and he's overpowering us. Greed and Edward are doing everything they can, but I don't know how long they can last. This is all my fault. None of this would have happened if I hadn't let Pride catch me. The thing is, we know Ow is like 
I would say, like, on par with Ed. Uh, maybe better when it comes to a fight. Ed's only ever beaten him once. Um, but obviously, Ed is amazing when it comes to alchemy. But still, Al, I'm saying, like, together they are just the ultimate damn team. So Al needs to get over there. Fires have given him all the light he could wish for, and I'm out of flash bombs. We need a new plan, and fast. And not just for us. The slum dwellers are going to be headed straight for pride any minute now. Hey, Dad. You're a pretty brilliant alchemist, right? Mm -hmm. I guess. I know a thing or two. I've got an idea, but I'm going to need your help to pull it off. <laughs> The weird thing about Hohenheim is he ha seems to have no interest in helping Ed. Like, none. No urgency, anything like that. And I get that we're supposed to see him as, like... Uh, I, d I don't really know what we're supposed to see him as, like. But I'm just saying, if, like, that was your kid, you'd think he's not going to last very long, I better get over there. And I guess maybe you think, nah, it's like a brash decision. But yeah, you would act brashly. You would, like a normal parent would. If your child is in danger, you'd think they'd act brashly to get over there. That's why, that's why I'm confused about it. He, he seemed, there was no urgency to it. What if Ed dies now, right now? I can see you more clearly without those trees in the way. <clears throat> There's not much point in trying to hide from me. I can smell each move you make. Oh, yeah. Damn it. Are you still breathing over there? Does wheezing count? This isn't really the time to worry about others, is it, Greed? As soft as you've become, I wonder how much longer you can survive. <laughs> Shut up, you beast. What a horrific thing to say to your own brother, Greed. Honestly. I might have to eat you. I promise that I won't go down easy, brother. Greed's voice actor's just <laughs> ten, isn't it? He's ten. Oh, so you've chosen to show yourself, eh, Hohenheim? The hero always waits until the last second to make his move. The hero? Hero? Interesting. Yeah, very you interesting. You must think you can defeat me. Very interesting. Hero. No, I'd never think that. I'm not dumb enough to try and fight you. It's funny. It, it, he, like, in a way, he managed to just insult everybody. <laughs> I'm not dumb enough to try and fight you. Immediately insulting everyone who was fighting him. <laughs> everyone. And calling himself the hero. God damn, who knew this was a Hohenheim story? What could he possibly be thinking? He must be plotting something. Yeah, it's a bit suspicious. Here he comes. Are you joking? This was your pathetic plan? You should have run when you had the chance! Ow, oh, no! It seems as though your son enjoys being held hostage. It's either that or he's supremely stupid. That's crossing a line, Pride. Don't ever mock my son. the one who suggested this. <laughs> Did Al just literally sacrifice himself? The thing is, it's only darkness in there, and we know if it's only darkness, um, Pride can't use his full abilities, so Pride's just a boy in there now. Um, 
but still. Wait, no, Pride, but Pride can use, no, Pride consumed um, Gluttony. So you can still use Gluttony's abilities, right? Either way, it's, um, it's, it's a bit messed up. But, and then at the same time, Hohenheim, oh my god, Hohenheim is a badass. <laughs> you fell for it! You can't use your powers in this darkness! I don't see why you're laughing. You're trapped inside this thing too. What about Gluttony? He as consumed soon as Gluttony. As you try to make an opening to leave, I'll slice you into little pieces. I don't remember saying anything about leaving. <laughs> Let's have a little test of endurance, Salim. Oh, sorry. Would you prefer to be called Pride? You see, Pride, my body doesn't need oxygen or light or food. I'm perfectly comfortable right here until the promised day is over. And I'm going to make sure that you stay put no matter what. It would have been nearly impossible to defeat Pride, and it was only a matter of time before the fight spread to the slums. Since we knew we couldn't defeat him, I acted as a decoy and we imprisoned him. We've bought ourselves enough time to figure out how to destroy him. Well, you could have at least told me what you were- Your brother told me not to. He said that you'd be against it, okay? <laughs> He's not wrong. He is not wrong. Al came up with this plan because it was the only way to make sure everyone would survive. Try to understand. <laughs> now, let's get to work putting these fires out. He is not wrong. Ed would never let his brother do that. We all know that. Brother! Hey, Al! Sorry, brother. It's not much of a reunion, huh? <laughs> But, this is all my fault, so I had to do something. And besides, I only have to stay in here for one day. I promise I'll be okay, brother. So lust is dead, envy's gone, gluttony's eaten. Wrath is at Eastern Command, and they've got pride under lockdown. So that means Sloth and Pops are the only ones watching over Central. Hey, Creed! What the hell are you planning? <laughs> I've told you. I'm planning on ruling the entire world. Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist. Would Greed make a bad king? Like a bad ruler? With, the thing is, Ling is very capable of taking his body back at times when he needs it, right? Greed seems to be fiercely loyal to anyone under him. I don't know if Greed would actually make that bad a ruler. In a weird way, I think he'd be one of the perfect choices for the job. Especially considering he is like, his, him and Ling are sharing a body. Strangely, that is nuts. Ah, Kimberly, we haven't seen Kimberly in ages. Am I going crazy or you guys noticed all the Ishvalans around lately? No, you're right. There's a small army of them holed up in those buildings out to the west of town. And speaking of Ishvalans, you have to wonder whatever happened to that fellow with the X-shaped scar across his face. Uh -huh. Well, I guess you can ask him yourself. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. Any of you know how to get to the Kanama slums? Yeah, sure. Kanama is just south of the city, right on the outskirts of the forest. Is that so? Thank you. Did that little girl ever meet back up with you guys? You know, the one that always carried that cat around with her. She passed through here again just a few weeks back. She did what? what? It sounds like she didn't go back to Xing after all. What the hell is that girl doing? Well, well, you boys out celebrating tonight? Why? What's to celebrate? You can drop the act. I know you were behind blowing up the train Bradley was on. What was that? So you, you weren't behind it? It's news to us. Uh-huh. I just assumed you must have led the other Ishvalans to take your revenge on King Bradley. All that stuff about them being terrorists is nothing but paranoid nonsense. My brothers would never lower themselves to such cowardice. They're your allies, and this country will soon see them as heroes, not terrorists. <laughs> Wait, so not everyone's in on the plan? Interesting. There's like a lot... Of, it seems like there's like... It feels like there's more than one plan. It seems like there's three plans. There's like the big plan, right? You've got big plan, plan A. But then you have like plan A variations one, two, and three. 
And everyone's been given like different variations and is acting on different variations, but all trying to get the same outcome, just a different way. Interesting. Where's Kimmy been this whole time, by the way? I don't even remember. I don't even remember what the fuck Kimmy was doing. I need to learn to draw the line somewhere when it comes to my job. I spent a fortune having this suit tailor-made, and now it's filthy. And the fun isn't even scheduled to start until the sun's up. Give me a little bit fucked up. That's pointless. I doubt my dad would have made the walls thin enough for a child to tunnel out. It's not that hard to surprise you when you think so little of us humans. You think you've got us all figured out, but you don't know a thing about us. You're too arrogant to see that things might not go your way. Like your plan to use us. It was too sloppy to actually work. And how's that? Well, the plan needed us, right? As your sacrifices? The whole thing hinged on us doing what you wanted. But what if we had simply decided to run away to a different country? That's all it would have taken and your entire plan falls apart. True. And there are some humans selfish enough who would have done exactly what you said. But then, not all. Just look at Raph's wife. There was a time when we took a trip to the city and I was almost run over by a car. The car swerved, of course. But not before she risked her life trying to shield me with her body. She had no idea that I could have easily protected myself. But I was genuinely shocked by her selfless concern for my safety. I've always known what it was to have a father, but I have never had what you would call a mother. I was quite intrigued by her and how she cared for me. And I realized what it was like to have a mother. Interesting. The thing is, in my head, and I know this is wrong, but in my head I just assume that the seven sins all have only that emotion. Like, pride is only prideful. Um, greed is only, uh, like, greed, uh, like, uh, whatever the word for greed is, I don't know. Greedy. Greedy. I don't know. Whatever. You know what I mean, right? Lust is just wanting to bang everybody. That's, like, what I have in my head. But it's wrong. They all experience normal emotions. They just have one emotion that powers, overpowers the rest of them, right? So it is normal for Pride to feel this connection, I guess. Which I never really thought of and just until this moment. For some reason in my head, I just assumed they only could experience one emotion. But obviously, that's not true. Um, but I didn't think Pride gave a fuck about his mother. This changes a few things, you know. Especially with her being a hostage now. When you say Wrath's wife, you mean Mrs. Bradley, right? Yes, that is correct. How could you deceive her all this time? I won't deny that I was just playing house with her. But I also can't deny that my time spent with her has been pleasant. I quite liked it. But then... As I was saying... <laughs> there are a handful of humans like Rath's wife. They're willing to give up their own lives in order to protect the things they care about. And one step up from them we have you and your brother chosen to be sacrifices for the infinite strength of your spirits you never would have fled and abandoned this country in fact you even went so far as to bring the fight to us so explain to me again how were our plans so sloppy i guess it's not sloppy if you think that the fact that they completely made the right choice and it worked out if a, pl a, pa a plan can be considered sloppy in like hindsight you can go out as a sloppy plan if the plan worked out it's a perfect plan colonel we should start getting ready right All right, then. Let's move out. Hmm. 
What happened here? It's been cleared to the ground, the whole area. And what caused that? That's not natural. <laughs> you don't hey, say. is that Gerso and Zampano? What the? Darius? Let me take a guess. Kimberly ordered you to track us down and kill us, now didn't he? Huh? You're joking, right? You can't really still think that we're working for Kimberly. No way, of course not. And as soon as we start trusting you, you'll kill us. I would never do that. I'm not falling for it. I bet Heinkel's hiding around here somewhere, just waiting for a chance to ambush us. You're Dr. Paranoid, Marco! You idiot! You're the idiot! Oh, Shut up. Edward! So you're still working with Scar? What? No, the gorilla. I'm sorry to have to spring this on you right away, but we really Shut need up. to get... Hey, piggy, gorilla, and fatty! Shut up and stop fighting! You wanna mess with us, shorty? <laughs> so you really did quit. Okay. They are brave. Well, in Ed, short. I mean, we all know he is on the short side. But you're still brave saying it. Guess we all ditched him around the same time then. Yeah, sounds like it. It was all too obvious that Kimberly considered us to be expendable. That's the truth. We may be considered fugitives now, but you know what? I've got no complaints. Same here. And no matter what, I know for a fact that these guys would never abandon us. Got that right. Loyalty runs deep. Once the sun comes up, things are gonna get rough. I know. Let's just hope that everyone makes it through the day alive. I love how Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood does this. The fact that it can give like like these characters were nothing until like a few episodes ago. And now they're like such center stage and part of the main group. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood does this better than most anime I've ever seen. It really does centralize background characters. It does such a good job of doing it. Which means if any of them get killed off. There's pain, because you, you immediately become attached to them. It's very, very smartly done. Looks like they've wrapped up their meeting. Where'd the old guy head off to? <laughs> he's gonna do some recon in Central. By himself? Yeah. He pointed out that he's the only one who's kept his identity hidden. So it'll be easier for him to infiltrate the city. He also said that he'd do his best to update us on Colonel Mustang's actions. But I'm kind of getting the feeling that he's mostly concerned about Ling. Sure, that makes sense. So you're all finished discussing things with Scar and the others? That's right. We figured out our strategy. <clears throat> That's so. It's almost time, huh? Your younger brother sure got some serious guts. Trapped in total darkness with that monster? I think that I'd lose my mind if I were in his place. Yeah. Hal's doing everything possible to keep us safe. The rest of it... Oh. That's up to us. For, for copyright reasons, um... <laughs> for copy Why does it always do this? For copyright reasons, this part might have to be muted. If it is, I do apologize. The unmuted versions are always available on Patreon. Um, is YouTube mute these videos? So we'll see. What, we'll see what happens. It's a pretty cool ending. I'm not gonna lie. That's a pretty cool ending. The sun has risen. The promised day has begun. The Promised Day, motherfuckers! Jesus Christ! Everyone's been talking about the Promised Day for so long. The Promised Day is here. It 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 is here. I'm, I'm just, I'm just trying to get to the flipping after credit scene. I know there's an after credit scene because there's just shit tons left of the episode. So let's get there. Here we go. My God, I'm surprised. We still got so many episodes, and the, and the, the big day is here. Is are the last like ten episodes just a big giant fight then? Ooh. What time is it? You have to get up now and hurry up or you're gonna miss it. What am I missing other than sleep? A solar eclipse. A solar eclipse? Oh man, it's not as late as you think it is. I've got plenty of time to sleep before it starts. Uh, hey, don't look at the sun. You'll blind yourself. <sighs> I'm not stupid, Denny. <sighs> <sighs> hey, quick, come check this out. It looks like there's a building on fire.
do not go outside the house today, all right? SETI squad is currently engaged in combat with Mustang's group in the Western Sector. However, it appears that they have taken the Fuhrer's wife hostage, which has left us unable to retaliate, sir. So, go ahead and attack. Sir? The only one we need alive is Roy Mustang. The Fuhrer's wife is expendable. Eliminate her along with Mustang's subordinates. Are you going to shoot? The only one we need alive is Mustang. Kill the rest. <laughs> After living in peace. You motherfuckers. You motherfuckers. I, I can't blame anyone else. You're the only ones here with me, so I'm gonna blame you. You motherfuckers. You guys knew that there was gonna be a cliffhanger like this, but you let me watch it anyway. God damn! <laughs> what an evil cliffhanger! Oh, come on! The after credit scene made that so much worse. You had like this epic ending with Ed looking at the sunrise. The promised day is here. The sun rises above the trees. Ed's flipping, put, swings his cloak on. And it's like, damn, man, look how badass he looks. And you have this stupid fucking after credit scene. Oh, my lord. Which has ruined everything. <laughs> Which went from, damn, that's epic, to, oh, man, now I gotta wait. Come on, what kind of cliffhanger is that? Ah, oh, man, what an, what an awful cliffhanger. That is a mean cliffhanger. That is a mean cliffhanger. Right. What have we got going on? We've got Fuhrer Bradley, supposedly, right? But we all know he's not. We've got Olivia. I don't know what the hell she's doing anymore. Um, Greed has ran off. I don't know what his plan is. Um, Ed's made a plan with his group, but it's not the same plan that Scar's made. He's got a different plan going on. The uh, the Northerners have their own plan going on. Is anyone working on Mustangs has their own plan going on? Like, is anyone got like that? Is anyone actually working together? I feel like you've managed to get all these people, all this this big powerful group of people, all in the same place, all with essentially the same goal, but still all working separately. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, man, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It is actually crazy, by the way. Like, it's, it's, it's just getting, it's just getting so good. I really feel like we just feel, it just feels like something huge is coming. And I don't know what, and. It's like, if everyone knows the plans of, of the flipping, of father, surely it's so easy to thwart, right? Everyone knows the plan. He needs the sacrifices. He needs all the people. But like, I, I don't get it. Everyone's known that plan for ages. Ah, it's weird. I don't, I, I know I'm missing something. I know I'm missing something, but I don't know what exactly I'm missing. Why is father so aloof? I, I mean, the, uh, the, the boy's father, Hohenheim. Mm, are they all going to work together? Is there a big war about to break out? I guess we'll have to watch the next episode and find out. Anyway, if you guys are still enjoying these reactions, press like, subscribe, leave all your comments down below. And as always, my friends, if you see me in the next video.